still shadow work, still shadow work Sunday, Hey, still shadow work, still shadow work Sunday. I was numb to myself, had to heal for the feeling, yeah I was so blind to the fate, now I'm really worried How you gon' tell me that you love me, you don't really care Nobody hurt, just me and my inner child crying, sir Still shadow work, still shadow work, Sunday Still shadow work, Peace, 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 family. Big energy. You already know the vibes. Shadow work Sundays. Welcome to the new vibration of the map. Metaphysical applications of purpose. We walking out of that seven energy, that shadow energy, and walking into this eight energy, this abundant energy. You know what I'm saying? So gratitude to source, gratitude to you, gratitude to the God right here. You know what I'm saying? So this episode is actually titled Distorted spirituality um which was very much so inspired by a conversation with the god and so today's special guest um he holds a lot of wisdom he is definitely an old soul in the young body he is a speech uh, a speaker a content creator a teacher a poet and soon to be a music artist i am honored to present the god awakened day peace peace it's a pleasure god i say i say i say so Man, I'm super lit, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited. Uh, I show gratitude to Source for um, for solitude, you know, for self-love, for um, even the trying times in life, you know what I'm saying, that that make you feel like you can't keep going, you know what I'm saying, that make you feel defeated only to find a new strength, you know what I'm saying? Um, so this, this time um, that I have been away, away i haven't been away you know what i'm saying i've just been within you know what i'm saying which i feel like that that's that's what we all connect you know what i'm saying when i, I tap in with you god i can feel your vibration because of the connection within you see what i'm saying and so you know the power of going within we do find our tribe we do find and and, and we got to understand that before you connect with the outer tribe you got to connect with the inner tribe you know what i'm saying so this, all these different aspects of you are your number one tribe, your source tribe that connects with everyone else's source tribe, which in return creates source. So gratitude for the to the God for, for coming on and tapping in with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? For the first episode, coming back, you know, um, as we dive deep, as we as we have dealt with trying times, but we understand that this is our year of prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, yeah, we're going to go and transition into the um, Shadow Work Sunday song. So, officially today, the Shadow Work Sunday song dropped on all platforms. Um, this record was almost like the completion of that energy. Not, 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 not the completion, but it was, it was me fully accepting and inviting my power. So, I did a deep shadow work on this song. Um, the song was very personal. Um, I wrote it in a way where I hope that it relates to y'all in a way where you can connect with some of your trying times and, you know, and feel the power of overcoming, you know, versus being defeated. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this song is out on all platforms. So let's get into it. The key of awareness is to find the pain. See, we run from pain. But if we actually face the pain, find the pain, we can actually heal the pain. All right, let's go. Still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. Hey, still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. I was numb to myself, had to heal for the feeling, yeah I was so blind to the fate, now I'm really worried How you gon' tell me that you love me, you don't really care 
nobody hurts. It's me and my inner child crying, sir. Still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. Hey, still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. I'm supposed to flex. I live a life with no regrets. They say I'm too blunt and I be smoking on the best. Hear the blessings knocking next, though. Shit, I know I'm next. You create your own way and they want you dead. Aaliyah rocked the boat and died after that Remember locked in the cell, making calls collect Sick when fam ain't answer cause I can't call them back then. My pops never wrote me and I felt neglect When I got released he sent me a fit and drew it just to flex My family cut throat around them, I watch my neck When the food sounds hit it felt like a stimulus check Damn, those were the times we ate the best Mama working overnight, I'm sleep on water burger, bitch When the lights went off, that's when them candles got lit Trust in a female is how my man's got hit Went into a depression, I ain't wanna say shit Still shadow work Still shadow work Sunday Ay, Still shadow work Still shadow work Sunday. I was numb to myself, had to heal for the feeling, yeah. I was so blind to the fate, now I'm really worried. How you gon' tell me that you love me? You don't really care. Nobody hurts, just me and my inner child crying, sir. Still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. Hey, still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. Kicked out my first apartment, I ain't wanna pay rent. Remember crying that night, cause my family wasn't rich. All we had was memories, cause we couldn't afford a pit. I slept at everybody's house, and mama had a crib. When the parents struggling, they beat you because of bills. She made me pick the switches off the tree outside the crib. Tied them together. And beat me with a friend Damn, I still feel that pain within And they wonder how I became abusive My pops slapped me and punched me And called me stupid Thinking about it, I'm like, damn Why did he do it? This the same man that gave me the love of music How could somebody be so loving and foolish? Had me thinking that the love was an illusion to my child, I never do this. No, no, no. Or it's the shadow work. See the shadow work Sunday. Hey, see the shadow work. See the shadow work Sunday. I was numb to myself, had to heal for the feeling, yeah. I was so blind to the fate, now I'm really aware. How you gon' tell me that you love me? You don't really care. Nobody hurts, just me and my inner child crying, sir. Still shadow work. Still shadow work, son. I'm finna grind the show. Not a bad story, not a bad story. Big energy. Peace to the tribe, man. I see the tribe is pulling up. Yeah, man, that 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 song, man, was an expression from my soul. You know, doing shadow work, connecting, releasing. You know what I mean? Facing realities of different things. You know what I mean? Not running. You feel me? Peace, peace, peace to the goddess. Yeah, the tribe is in the building. 
man y'all already know you know what i'm saying y'all know the theme of this man we sitting on the cosmic couch you feel me we up there big chilling with source and 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 now we are coming together and becoming one and like sources like ain't no separation just come over here and just be one with me and we are just becoming one with source right now you know what i'm saying and then in this vibration of the new year this is the new year you know what i'm saying we have finally entered into the new year uh, for the tribe that have just um came in i want to let y'all know that um today's guest um he comes with a lot of wisdom like i said earlier um he is definitely an old soul in a young body a speaker a content creator a teacher a poet and soon to be a music artist i am honored to present once again the god awake and take peace 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 to the gods and peace to the goddess man it's a pleasure I appreciate all y'all that's pulling up, man. It's about to get real lit in here. I'm ready, man. I say, so today's episode is distorted spirituality. Um, and also y'all let us know in the chat. Y'all can hear everything good. The quality as far as the audio is good. Um, but as I've been in isolation and stepped back, you know, um, you know, I always say I'm not a part of the spiritual community. I'm not a part of any community. I'm a part of the oneness of sorts. You know, and creating these different communities creates a separation. Um, and so, as I look and I and I peep, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the spiritual community, um, and what they would call the spiritual community. Um, and so, a lot of people are getting frantic and they're kind of not knowing where to go and what to do because they have a church mentality. They they turned this this connection with source into the same thing that kind of like play, uh, play it on our minds in the church where you know we gave everything to it and we got the church hurt and we end up you know what i'm saying turning our, our back again, essentially on source on this true power on this true um connection because of these people and because of this building and all this and so the spiritual community has became like that you know what i'm saying where now all the weird stuff that's happening people are feeling like they're lost they don't know where to go they don't because of these people that they were being codependent on and, 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 and they were looking for them to live and stand by a certain standard or not to vibrate in a certain frequency and they're seeing that with their eyes so they're heartbroken and in return that makes their, their, their spiritual path challenging. And so today we're here to clear that up and make you in the, and, and let you know that nobody should have the power, you know, to shift your, 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 your purpose or your, your mission your vibration into that capacity because at the end of the day your truth is your truth this is your path this is your experience this is your you know, this this is source you are so powerful and so important that source said i need you to to experience this and this and this and i don't have those experiences wake and tape don't have those experiences and experience, you know what i'm saying so um so let's break down this is pod class not podcast let's break down on what does distorted mean So distorted, the definition is pulled or twisted out of shape, given a misleading or false account or impression, misrepresented. And we're talking about distorted spirituality, misrepresented spirituality. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is not what it is. Erica Badu said something that was very powerful. Um, they asked her, how do you do your spiritual baths? Do you take spiritual baths? She was like, well, every bath I take is a spiritual bath because of my intention. She said, every walk I have is a spiritual walk. Every meal I have is a spiritual meal. You see what I'm saying? And so all these ideologies and these messages have made us separate ourselves from spirituality, from what that truly is. You know what I'm saying? Which you are, we were spiritual before we knew we were spiritual because you are that's what you are you know it's it's something that it already is you can't change it but you can flip it manipulate it run from it you know what i'm saying and so let's go into the etymology because it gets even deeper the etymology is twisted apart so once again let's just put these words in front of spirituality twisted apart spirituality you know, twisting it. When you think about, talks about uh, what feel like this. When, when, when you think about, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to the point in a minute. When you think about something being twisted, think about 
something that is whole, when it gets twisted, it's out of shape. Even if that's a design, even if you mean to twist that thing, it's out of shape. So spirituality has become out of shape. You know what it is? It's that work. Everybody doing a lot of talk. Everybody are trying to, we're trying to show and prove, show and tell. But what about the work? The work is where you, you stay in shape. You stay ready to go. You ain't got to get ready. The work, and guess what? The true work comes in the shadow. Because once you embody the work in the shadow, then you become powerful in the light. Therefore, your spiritual path becomes balanced. Divine feminine, divine masculine, chaos, love. You are just, you know what I mean? You are whole. Exactly. So today, we're going to speak about the BS, the distractions, the games, and also how to become whole in the spirituality, in the source, so that we can walk this path and stay on mission. We're supposed to, because right now ain't the time, family. It's real. You know? Um, so, yeah, so what's good, Wake and Tate, man? How, how you vibrating on this subject with, with, with what is being said? You know what I'm saying? Um, what does what the source have, you know, to give us through you? Um, I vibrate high. Uh, like I said, it's an honor. I got a lot to say on this topic because I've seen a lot of stuff in the community where, like you said, spirituality has become like a religion, almost like a, a distorted religion. And you know, uh, people is not really discerning the information and they're going and they're listening to these people and the answers without really meditating on the answers and tapping in with source themselves because they're putting others on a pedestal. And we are all source, nobody is on a pedestal. We are all at different stages on our path, but nobody is above one another. We all got roles to play. Um, I had got this vision of a puzzle. Um, we all have pieces to the puzzle. Just because somebody has a higher role does not mean that you don't have a piece to the puzzle too, or that, you know what I'm saying? You automatically believe them or what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? You have the same gifts, the same talents, the same abilities, the same, you know what I'm saying? Way, ways to tap into sources like they do. And so um, what you're getting here is a lot of people that's spreading misinformation and it's not being discerned correctly and then it's just spreading people just reposting because the hype or the trends you know what i'm saying and it's and it's being spread it but truly if you're tapping into that heart space tapping into that feeling tapping into that discernment tapping into the source you will see hey man it's, it's something not right with this message you know what i'm saying it's truth mixed with lies like you even say candy they, they like mix the candy with the medicine so it's hard to decipher so it's really important for us to discern what's being put out and um that's that's just my take on it for real that's just a lot to be dissected so when you know what i'm saying what you say um before we go to the next you know um stage when, when would you say i think we all get that rude awakening right in our path where you know what i'm saying um when you first get into it you psychologically you know even emotionally you get caught up you know on you know um being codependent on this person this teacher this influencer this book this whatever it is you know even some people this psychedelic you know what i'm saying so you get caught up on 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 this really it's the feeling and so that feeling becomes um addictive and so when you're by yourself you don't get that quick dopamine hit like you get instantly because this person is they've studied they've put in the work they, the, the the phase that you got to go through that feels like a slow pace you, you feel like you're not getting anywhere they've been through that phase they're putting that that work and so when you're talking to somebody that's dropping them down that's connected that's connected then they're just hitting you with dopamine 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 and then when you get by yourself meditation it's like something wrong so i'm not receiving like this i'm not when really this is a moment they're not receiving that information based off of dopamine they're receiving that information based off of silence peace oneness isolation you know what i mean um really really being able to consecrate themselves in in the wholeness or the oneness of source outside of this whole even like this reality has to become obsolete to even be able to connect on that level and so a lot of times people don't want to put it at work that it takes it takes turning off that tv it takes not going to do here it takes changing up their diet you know what i'm saying with the things that you eat it takes you know um journaling it takes doing the 
the, 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 the memories of the heart space meditation where you're going to look at your memories of your inner child and you're looking at all these different parts of this trauma and you're cleansing and clearing this, this trauma and then you're actually focused on in your life vibrating in love. So you're cleansing karma and clearing karma as well as you are creating good karma. There's so many aspects to the work that people get frustrated by, overwhelmed by. And so I want to I want to ask you is when in your path, if this happened, did you feel overwhelmed without needing to outsource source? <laughs> yeah. A uh, point in time where I was kind of I didn't really I was it was early in my stages of my journey. I didn't really know what to look for and um I look for other teachers to, you know what I'm saying, give me better understanding of what I was seeing in my in my dreams or my visions. I didn't really have an understanding. So, you know, I, I just kind of asked for it, you know, lead me to, you know, the synchronicities of others that have bigger knowledge that I do at this time. And um, I was led there. And like you said, after a while, it, it became like I was dependent on their message and what they're saying and not really tapping in to me. I'm, I'm missing the whole progress of my journey of tapping into me because I'm too busy tapping into others and their downloads and their perspectives without realizing that I'm a part of source too. I got my own unique perspectives. You know, I got my own unique way of saying things, you know, my own unique downloads. And um, I more so embodied what they were saying instead of taking like a piece of their puzzle and a piece of what they were saying and, you know, putting it together with mine, you know, making it my own unique, you know what I'm saying? And so that was kind of like my experience. Like, OK, uh, I really got to tap in, meditate more and get in tune with me, because at the end of the day, it's about getting in tune with me, not to get in tune with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can help you grow or well, people can help you grow, but nobody can do the work for you. You know what I'm saying? And so I really had to understand, you know, I got to go back within me. I got to get my own downloads. You know what I'm saying? I have to learn my own perspectives and I learn to take bits and pieces that resonates with me and tie that back into mine. But at the end of the day, I got to go within and get my get my own answers. And so that was like my whole experience from there. If I can ask another question, um, how were you able to do that? You know, how, how were you able to... Um, because... Uh, mo most of the time, the challenge starts in the mind. You know, it's like it's not even real, but in our mind, we create this 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 big monster. You know, um, that feels like it's impossible to. It's kind of like the fear of being alone. You know, um, type of thing. You know, or the the. Um, I know for me, I grew up lacking support from the adults and you know I, I kind of raised myself in a lot of ways so you know um when you connect with this type of vibration and when you take this emotion this this feeling this this journey so serious it is an emotional thing it is something that 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 you you know um you have a lot of passion for a lot of passion about so what, what happens is is it's really it's really it's really not a bad thing. It's that we take it too far. You know, it's supposed to be inspiration. You know, um, we are here to inspire each other. You know, this live, I desire for this live to be inspirational to the tribe, to anyone, to, um, because at the end of the day, when you're living life, like I said, we're all spiritual. You, no matter what, you playing basketball, you, you, you at the gym, you at the club, you, no matter what, you are a spiritual being. And so life is life, man. We got family, things happen with our family and our own life, bills, rent, all type of different things, you know what I'm saying, that we have to deal with in, in, in this reality. And you got something that's sacred as source that you are presented with. You're like, wow, I thought it was over. I thought I was finna just flip. I know for me, I was finna lose it. I was ready to flip out. I was ready to, you know, go back to my old ways. What, like, how we say it? I was maybe head first back into, in, back into what that was, and I had the, I had the, the presentation or the opportunity to actually feel and connect 
and see the source. And that was through somebody else. That was through a teacher. That was through a, a person online that I've never met in my life, but their soul. I, I'm watching them now. I'm, I'm connected. They're giving me something. This is life. They're feeding me life. They're, like I'm, I'm literally at the crossroad. And it's like, but but I, I but I got so caught up on the persons. It was more than one on the persons that I lost that it was source that was leading them to me. It was source that would lead me to their lives, and it was source that would lead them to say what they were saying. You see what I'm saying? So the whole right. time, it's not creating the separation, but wow, this person is deep. This person is connected. Wow, this is showing me. This is source showing me what I can be, what I can do, what I'm lacking, what I got, what I don't got. You know, like all, it's even like our parents. With the, just, just to drop a little gem with the inner child real quick. Our parents, we be like, damn, they messed us over. You know, they, they, they did us wrong. You know, we, we feel like it's unfair. But the beautiful part is, is that those were just upgrades, lessons, you know, that new level of awareness. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, right. it, but, but you got to be the one to do the work. So it's like, you know what? I'm going to throw this at you. Because we felt emotions then. But mm -hmm. we didn't know that was going to help you to be able to be calm with your wife later. To be able to be a calm and a, and a sensitive man to your children. Because you know what it felt like to lose, to be treated, to, to be abused, to be. It's just how sources is the same way with the teachers. It's an experience for us to be inspired. But then that feeling going to spin the block. Well, you got to do the head-on work one-on-one. -on -one. Right. You know? Taurus. Which I think is a, is, is a very beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? So, let's, um, let's tap in. Let's go back, actually, to um, the definition of the story. So... Actually, through the etymology, my fault. So the etymology of distorted is twisted apart. So we talked about that. And so we think about a twist, like something that's twisted, that's, it kind of reminds you of a spiral. You know, when you think of something that's twisted. And so spirals are very, well, the spiral is a very powerful, ancient, sacred, geometrical, you know, um, symbol. You know, and it holds a very, very, very powerful vibration of life and of source. And so it's kind of like a like an oxymoron or a catch-22 when we talk about distorted spirituality. From a distorted spirituality is the unholistic version of that spiral. It's a twist, you know, but truthfully, the true spirituality, the true walk with source is that spiral. The true power of source is that spiral. That's why when we get our locks, you talk about the ether. It's like waves, you know, it's like, you know, curls, you know, these are all spirals, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so all these, all these spirals, they actually attract ether. You see what I'm saying? So, right. If, if that if that spiral is distorted, it's still attracting ether, but it's just attracting pure chaos. It's attracting confusion. It's contract. It, that's what it is. So it, it's you know what I'm saying. That spiral still has power. It's like the 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 um. It's the as above, so below. You know, right. it's the reality of it. And so, truthfully, for this true spiral, this true vibrational source to live, this wholeness, there has to be. The, the distorted spirituality. You see what right. I'm saying? It's just like the same thing like I told with our parents. It all has to happen. So I'm not mad at it. I just desire for us to be aware of it because the ancient ones are rising. And the ones that are rising, we are, we are in a time now where source is giving messages directly, directly from source. And it's not coming through other people or other you gonna have to receive that thing direct because some people are caught up. I don't want to say in old downloads, but they're not going back to see deeper into what source is saying in that download. Mm -hmm. So right. you will hear someone say something that is deep, but if you just take that for what it is, 
No, it's up to you to listen to that. Take it deeper. Go ask self source more questions. Go connect. Go get grounded. Go connect with the grid. Go do different things, you know, different rituals. Create you a crystal grid. And sit in the middle of that thing, you know, that, you know, imagine yourself, visualize yourself in your Merkurpa, you know, and travel places to find the information. There's, see, see the, the, the thing is, the reason why we talk about shadow work, healing inner child, because for you to travel, for you to be able to have get those downloads, for you to be able to see beyond this realm, your inner child, your, the, is, is the key to your imagination, which is right within your first eye. That whole connection, that partnership, you need all of them. Just imagine, just imagine being able to sit there and meditate with source and oneness, and you and you and you put yourself surrounded by water. Now you're in the water, you're in the elements. You know what I'm saying? Then you add fire around you. And you add different elements, and then next thing you know, you know, you actually start to create a McCurple around yourself. This is thing we see in movies that we're like, oh my God, we're amazed by that you can do that within yourself and go experience things that would scare the shit out of some people. And I just gave y'all an actual ritual that I do. You know, I I actually put myself in water, you know, because I feel like. As, as, as the feminine energy, as, as they are the number one creators, you know? So if I'm going to go into a place of creation, a visual a visualization in my imagination, it's all creation. I got to connect with the divine feminine. All right. Deep at the masculine, I surround myself with that fire in the water. You see what I'm saying? Because the fire cannot have its flame without the, the water, which technically is the oxygen, which is water. So it's all the same thing, embodying that as one. You see what I'm saying? So I said, all I have to say, once again, stop separating yourself, man. Stop, stop separating. If you see somebody, they got a, a hundred million followers. So it don't mean anything. What matters is, is within. You got a hundred million ancestors riding for you right now. And if you could tap into them that focus on a hundred million followers somebody got, then you probably can manifest yourself into living your dream just like the person that you're looking at. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you are a teacher. Maybe you are an artist. You know, maybe maybe you are whatever it is, but you're just too busy looking at other people. And this and just, just to take it deeper outside of spirituality, just in regular life from a shadow work aspect. Don't look at people and, and 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 admire what they have so much that you forget, like what you what like what you're supposed to be doing, like your purpose or your gifts or your I call it your goal. You know what I'm saying. All right, so this is pod class, not podcast. Once again, so I'm gonna keep rocking. Um, and we're going to, we're going to break this word down again, this, um, distorted word, just even more, um, because words hold so much weight, especially this English language, being that it's already such a low vibrational language, you have to really break down this words to understand what, what words we're using, what they mean, how deep of a meaning and how, how deep of a a, uh, how deep of a illusion we have created around ourselves. I'll put it like that. So the word dis, D-I-S, actually means to speak disrespectfully or to criticize. Come on now. So distorted, and we're talking about spirituality, so to speak disrespectful or to criticize. And so I look, I look at that as mocking source. Like a vibration as, as as if you know, like take it to the Bible. The Bible say all the people gonna be in the church and they're gonna be saying, We we did this in your name, this and that, they all in the church and they doing all that. He's gonna say, spew you out because you I never knew you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, we gotta understand, family, that it's 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 multiple options. That's your free will. Your free will is that you can run over here and run right and follow the Antichrist. Or you can go this way and walk with Christ and become Christ. 
You see what I'm saying? But if you disconnect yourself, that's that dis again. You know what I'm saying? Disrespecting the connection. If you disconnect yourself, you have chose. And so today it's kind of like in the church, they, they do at the end of the church, they do the, um, well, I forgot what it's called. Um, they ask you to come up, the opportunity to come up to the church. Yeah, to, you know, to like the, uh, the <laughs> altar, I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, so it's like it's like that, you know what I'm saying? Like you get the opportunity to really look at yourself and to say, you know what? Like I choose me, I choose source. I choose to put in the work. I choose to, to create a schedule for my day. To wake up and do my affirmations, my journal, and take me a walk, do a little workout, sip me a little bit of herbs, go out into nature, talk to the trees, the birds, feel everything. Don't don't separate myself from anything outside. If I do got to go work a job, I'm going to show gratitude to stores because I know what I'm doing it for. I'm gonna have a plan while I'm working that job. I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna have a plan to the side. I'm putting my money. I'm investing to be over here. Set your, set your life up, family, to work. You don't need to depend on no one. When we come together on lives like this, it's a fellowship. It's not a codependency. You know what I'm saying? Which is how I feel it should be. So, do do you remember that um that um that scripture that you had quoted on TikTok? Oh yes, sir. I got it right here. Yeah, let's let's dive in on that. All right. So, what it, the download was? It said we were the throne, the mattress of love and light. Then it went on to say, "You have to furnish your shadow before it gets furnished." Now, I one more time. I, on, say it again. I read it one more time. Read it one time. All right. So, what it said was, "We were the throne." We will dethrone the mattress of love and light. You have to furnish your shadow before it gets furnished. And so what that meant to me was starting off with dethroning the love and light. As we said, it's been this illusion that spirituality is all about love, light, crystals, et cetera, et cetera. What we're speaking about today that distorted spirituality but they're feeling to realize the other half of it you know what i'm saying everything is a yin and yang you can't have one without the other you know what i'm saying you can't have the rebirth without the death and so it's like they're showing everybody the rebirth but they're not showing the death you got to go through to get to that rebirth you know what i'm saying so basically it's saying that you really have to go within deep within yourself and furnish yourself, furnish your shadow, furnish, because as we know, your external is a reflection of your internal. So how do you expect to be furnished internally? And that aspect goes out into the rest of the reality of your life, if you're not furnishing your shadow. You know, spirituality to me, spirituality to me means to be one with that breath, mastering the breath, which in return means mastering yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mastering all parts of yourself. But how can you master yourself in a scene if you're leaving parts of yourself behind, aka the shadow? And I don't even like to call it the shadow because in my perspective, the shadow is only a different spectrum of light. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think, you gotta think when we come down from source, we're pure. You know, before we even knew what a shadow was, everything was light. You know what I'm saying? We in our inner child. We playing. We ain't have no flaws or what we call insecurities. It's light. But our experiences that we go through to get us to grow has turned some of our light into what we now consider a shadow. But at the end of the day, it's still all a part of your light. And so you have to embody all of your light. You can't just embody part of your light. And so this whole thing with the distorted spirituality is they think you can get some crystals and some you know some singing bowls and all these things give the power to these fools without giving power to themselves and realizing that you still have to do the inner work to ascend and you know what i'm saying get to that rebirth um like i was saying death darkness darkness evil two different things you know what i'm saying darkness you got to think when a plant 
is getting or when a seed is getting planted, what what is it going into? It's going into darkness before it sprouts. When uh when you see when it's dark outside, you know what I'm saying? You see the next day the sun comes up. So it's the process of evolution. Our whole our whole purpose for being here is to evolve on a soul level. And these experiences and the things that we go through is meant to shape us. We're not really meant to attach to them and hold on to them like in a, in a grudge and anger way, but it's meant to show us lessons and teach us, you know, to get us to evolve and grow. Because as Source says, we need that pressure, you know, it's power in the pain. We need that pressure to get us to grow. You know what I'm saying? If, if we were just here on this realm and everything was love and light, we, we want to learn nothing. Nothing, nothing would be learned because we're not challenging ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We're not pushing ourselves. You know, everything would just be stagnant. But when you push something, think about you're pushing the energy. When you push something, you're pushing that energy, pushing that energy up to ascend and to evolve. So without those challenges and, you know, you're embracing your shadow and these different things like that, the dark, then we couldn't truthfully, soulfully ascend how we're supposed to. And so it's just important to embody both sides of the spectrum and not just one side and that's basically what i got from that and um like i was saying it was saying furnish your shadow before i get furnished i kind of already went over that but um to go over it again you have to embody your shadow you have to embody all parts of yourself you have to furnish yourself internally and like i said everything else externally will begin to unfold, unfold and begin to furnished naturally because you're taking the steps you're taking that process you know what i'm saying and um that's basically what i had got from this download so yeah it's kind of like um or should i say very similar to the kundalini awakening you know what i'm saying that we have multiple times um that energy doesn't come from the most Actually, I, I don't believe at all, especially from my experiences, that the Kundalini energy comes from anything of a good energy in your life. Like you're just going through a happy time, your Kundalini rises. Nah, most of the time it comes when you're, you feel like you're under a boat. You know, you feel suffocated. You know, you feel um, the difference is, is that you're not defeated. You know, you're a superhero. Somewhere in you, there is like, I know I'm powerful. And that energy, that drive, you know, is what, like you said, creates that rise. You know, um, I look at it like a volcano as well. You know, um, how that getting ready for that eruption. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's it, it's 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 definitely powerful. Um, I, 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 I've actually you know, I've just spoke a lot about the shadow um, in the last year and a half or so about just connecting and the importance of embodying the shadow. You know, um, I'm gonna. I want. I want. I want to take a different approach at this point, and um, not 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 necessarily. It's, it's still embodying it, but I think a lot of the ways that we've spoke on it, not all of them, um, has been aggressive. You know, um, because that 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 trauma be real. It be really at your neck, and so sometimes we want to match that energy, but. And this time, um, what I feel is that it's time to be soft with the shadow. It's time to be gentle with the shadow. Um, because like like, like, like the guy said, um, the shadow is like, and we talked about this so that's probably in the last year, you know, um, I just said there's no shadow, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, 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 since it is light, and always has been and now it's being portrayed as darkness you have to now love this shadow back into the awareness of that it is like and if if if, if i could be completely honest i think um that's the process we're all going through on this planet you know we all have had failures done things that we felt was fake was was wrong was um against our character um and, you know, we really embody the shadow aspect in this realm against other people. 
and then we had to go to source and figure it out and go through that process of figuring out like oh like first we go through guilt then we go through you know feeling like there were nothing then we go through feeling unworthy then you go through trying to do better then you fail then you feel guilt unworthy you go through that process all over again all that and, you know, until you finally realize you know that you are worthy that you're amazing that you're a whole that you that, 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 that you're not your family you're not an addict you're not a whatever you know what I'm saying you don't have anger issues you don't like you, you you realize all these different things after you go through that process and so it's like understand that everything that you've ever done that you feel wrong or bad about I won't use the word bad at least because the name of it the, the, the meaning of it I would say anything that you feel you know that you did that wasn't operating from a high vibration that creates some type of guilt within you any time that you ever overcame that and was able to go apologize to that person or do whatever you needed to do to release that energy, that's the same energy that's needed for your shadow in this in this time. You know, um, distorted spirituality will have you chasing information. And in that information, you won't be getting no type of transformation because what's needed in that moment is for you to show love to yourself, for you to go connect with those dark parts of you. All that information is going to do is going to keep you from going within. It's going to, it's going to, you can listen to it. You can listen to people for it. You're straight feeding you information. And behind the scenes, you're not doing that shadow work. And they're going to basically keep you in a time loop. If you don't, if you don't be doing that work behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's very important, you know, and within this world, and, I'm, I'm not, and I got to say this, like, Within this world, it's a lot going on. And I don't know if y'all are aware of everything that's going on, but it's a lot going on. And I'm not going to fear or nothing or promote or push no type of fear because that's not, I don't I don't stand by that. I will say that, you know, uh, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And so some of the battles that will come will be physical, things that we deal with in our physical reality. But some of them will be psychological psychological and emotional and mental and a lot of people are going to lose their minds you know based off of just you know not really having a true connection with anything you know a lot of people think that they're connected to something but you don't know until something real happens and that's when you know if you're really connected to something you know um and so i i i i ask and you know i i um sincerely hope you know that 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 right now that tribe y'all are really taking source serious you know i think the spiritual stuff and what made it distorted too is that it became a trend it became like a like spirituality like a joke it's not nothing to play with you know what i'm saying this 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 ain't no joke our ancestors ain't no joke and and and, and the so-called enemies ain't a joke neither you know, and, and, and this planet and what this planet has been through ain't no joke, you know, and the prophecies that have been spoken that a lot of us are a part of, that our ancestors were a part of, you know, ain't no joke, you know, um, and the thing about prophecies is they have duality as well. So there's, there's, there's a prophecy of a victory and there's a prophecy of a defeat, you know, and we have continued to live the, the prophecy of the defeat over and over and over because we wasn't doing this work. Do you understand, family, that inner work is to keep us coming together as unified people? Right now, we don't trust each other enough to come together because niggas are so tra traumatic and out of whack. They'll just kill a nigga on the impulse. So we kill each other. We don't even, we got to do inner work so we can trust each other enough to even come together and unify as source. We say we the body of Christ, we the, we, we the second coming of Christ. How? I get it. I say the same thing. But if we're not coming together as one, then that's an illusion. You know, uh, uh, if, if, if you look at war, you look at war, and war, they're not going to put all their soldiers in one place. But they damn sure not going to be having soldiers just all sporadically in random places and thinking they're going to win, win the war when some people is coming to ambush them. It's not going to happen. And we're too separate. We should be like this, wrap your arms, walking with source, doing our... But we only can do that when we get off this dopamine, 
destroy their spirituality frequency this this false life vibration that's really what it is everybody looking for a false light to come help them with their situation when a false light is a false light because it it, it it holds no shadow it's only a light that's reflecting off light so you should be weary or you should be concerned about people that are only just light just showing you just light because that's a false light where is the shadow at where is the real life in the situation? Where is the mistakes, the flaws, the reality, the realness? Everybody get online and want to be pretty. They don't want to tell you nothing real about this life. They want to tell you the good stuff. They want to act like they're perfect. That's not the case. Life be whooping the ass. And we, you know what I'm saying? And we have to, we have to wake up and we got to stand on business. And sometimes we don't want to do that shit. Sometimes we don't because guess what? We got to respect that Source might not want to feel that love and light shit right now. Source might want to feel chaotic and feel like a warrior. But how are you going to balance that energy? To be holistic. To be one. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you got to keep in mind, we said that we are spiritual beings, so distorted spirituality starts with, within us. That distortion is within that's what it, it comes without on social media, on lives, on posts, on whatever. But we, we can't be distorted within, family. All our chakras are like spirals, like wheels spinning. If you're distorted within, you're twisting every part of you. Chakras all out of shape and twisted in. How is you? How you going to flow? How you going to know? How you gonna get these downloads? How you gonna unlock your earth star, or your, your earth star chakra? How you gonna unlock your lotus fire flame and all these different? How is it gonna happen if you if you're distorted within? And guess what, family? The seven chakras are very much so amazing. They have their part to play. They are the foundation. But to connect and the goal we're supposed to be doing is unlocking our macabre, which we're gonna talk about next episode. You know, with 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 doing that, we must unlock all these aspects of us, which each chakra hold and connected to connected to different dimensions. So as you unlock all these chakras and these dimensions within with, with, uh, within you, you're unlocking your macabre, which is your divine matrix. And as you're doing that, now you can now now, now you can be swords. Everybody said, I ain't coming back here again. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. The only way that you're not going to come back here again is actually unlocking that Merkaboo. That Merkaboo. That boom. So, you know, so this message that we're speaking may sound very simple, which it sounds simple compared to niggas that's trying to hit you with dopamine all day. I don't want to hit you with dopamine. I want to hit you with a like reading a book. <laughs> that's how I want you to feel when you're over here because that's feeding a different part of you. And, and little do you know that's peace. You may feel bored reading a book, but there's some part of you that's just feeling so peaceful while you're reading that book. When you're online listening to people, you could be closing off chaos. And that chaos is still living in the back of your head the whole time listening to them people. It's not doing anything for you because you're just stacking information on information, therefore putting you in formation. You under it's like being under a spell or something. Like wake up, family, and go to sleep. What do I mean by that? Is yo, 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 if you don't, if you if it's hard for you to meditate, you feel like you ain't getting no messages, you feel like go to sleep. Sleep, rest as much as you can. Set your intention to I want to, I need to talk to me, source. And rest. I promise you, because the because that's the cheat code. Everybody say, wake up. Now we, we need to be sleeping more. Everybody trying to stay up. We need to be sleeping more to get these messages from source. These dreams, these I, I get so many messages. Sometimes I'll learn how to do something in this realm for source showing me in my dream. So it's, it's a, it, we at a point, fam, we got to start, get, get, get you some Damiana, get you some Blue Lotus, get you some herbs that'll help you connect 
and take your ass to sleep and rest with intention. You know, but there's so many ways. And, and, and I'll say this, y'all, inbox me if you need some more ways, inbox that God away can take. But as you can tell, I'm just so passionate. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm just, I, I got tired of it. That's why I had to step back too. I got tired of all this fake shit I was saying. Excuse my French. But it was just frustrating. It was like, nobody taking this serious. This cute, you know, aesthetic, but man, that shit don't mean nothing, bro. You know, what type of person are you? How are you loving your family? How do you treat people when you're off the camera, when you're not around the tribe and all this? Like, who are you for real? Don't lie to yourself, family. I just went in, God. I know I just talked a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, no, you good. But, Soaking it all in. I got a lot to say, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, 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 it's sad, bro. I look around and it's sad. And everybody, like, it's all in. And it's sad. We need to do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 everybody clicked up. Even in the so-called community, it's all gang shit. Like, there's no, we need to be one. Like, why are we, everywhere we go, we, we always crabs in the bucket. But we say, we gods, we goddess, we, where, how? You know what I'm saying? I hear you. But why are we not coming together, all just trying to figure out, like, we, we need to be learning the net to rule. We need to be learning the, the, the I mean, the, uh, not the, uh, the metal nets. We need to be learning our original languages. We need, there's so many things we should be doing right now that'll help us to, to ascend, to get to that next level. But we just separate. And, and, all, and all we want to focus on is celebrity, celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, you got numbers, you're a celebrity. That's all we want to focus on is looking at somebody's life and admiring what they doing and, and and just like it's it's lame bro peace 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 family man as y'all can tell family i'm in my feelings you know, not, not 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 in the negative way or nothing like that just you know passionate about about us man you know what i'm saying like but y'all drop in the comments. You know, I see the um, comments kind of been a little lot slower um, than usual. But y'all, y'all tap in in, in in the comments and just how do y'all feel? You know about what we're speaking on. I'm not even gonna put it in the box. You know what I've said, what the God has said. You know the scriptures that you know has been quoted, the the dialogue. You know, but just this this subject, we are all a part of this. So you know, um, we would love to hear y'all truth. You know what I'm saying? The dialogue about that. See, I love these type of conversations, bro, because I'm I'm the source activist. You know, that's who I am. And I, I don't I, I don't mind, you know, saying the uncomfortable things that people won't say, you know. Um, so there's another download, you know. They try to put it, not even I can say a download, but just another um, perspective. They try to push light work on you before you do your shadow work. And that's backwards. You know what I'm saying? Um, and from a source perspective, that's not backwards because it's only light, like we said before. But from being in this realm, in the 3D realm, you know, it's layers you got to walk through. So you can't skip over the karma. You you here because of karma, my G. You wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't even, why? why would you be here? And even if you're here because of purpose too, there's still some karma attached to your being here. So you got to clear that to get to the light. So don't let these people force you into light work. You know what I'm saying? And then you start to implode and you're wondering what was happening. You know, you, 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 you have ruined your server, you know, on, on, on your board and you just, and you're wondering how to, how to get it back started and you don't know where to go, go to the shadows and get your power. 
That way, if something go wrong, you got the power to charge that thing back up. You don't need to watch a certain video or look up somebody online for meditation. Or Those things are only inspiration, family. I'm not here to be your God. I'm not here to be. I am only here to inspire. Every time you get online, just be inspired. Not control, not influence. They say influencers. I did a video on that under the influence. Probably like two months ago. You know, no, don't let nobody be your influencer. Let them inspire you. And guess what? That spiral was in that in that inspired. You know what I'm saying? So that source is in that. You know what I'm saying? So understand that spiral connected to that ether. You feel me? That energy traveling with your intention, manifestation. That's simple. What's good, God? How you vibrating off of over there? Off of those off that message. Yeah, I'm vibrating off. Man, I definitely feel you. Um, I kind of went into this too. People being under the influence of others so much that it's it's distracting them from their own self. Being being in tune more with influences and what they got going on than what they got going on in their own lives, you know, being so in tune with their problems and not in tune with their own problems, with their own shadows, you know, with their own drama inside that they're dealing with. And um, I definitely resonate with that, what you were saying, because it's been a lot of that going on, especially now in these times, you know, they throwing out distraction after distraction after distraction. And this is a time where you really have to be doing the inner work and they know that this is one of them times. So they're putting out any and everything to distract you from going internal and focusing on yourself. And so it's really important to focus on yourself. You're, you're the influence, be the influence in your life. Don't be influenced. Because at the end of the day, you are sourcing whatever you're pick up, picking up on whether that's energies, uh, somebody else's uh, life or anything like that, we create everything. I don't think a lot of people realize that we, everything that we go through, everything that we experience, we create. And it all stems from the internal being projected out to the external. And so, like I said, that that inner work is no joke. That uh, That inner awareness is no joke. You know, being aware. I mean, it's, it's, it's so much to it, but it's it's really important to be grounded and stabilized within, especially in these times. I would say, yeah, man, they, everybody, they want you to, um, <laughs> I'm going to say it. I wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to say it. Um, it's no slug. It's just what it is. Um, you see different people talking about, you know, you know I'm saying spiritual, you know, talk about um, going in on the PDD situation, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if the only way that that's not a red flag to me is if you're just finna, and it shouldn't be a long talk about it, it should be very simple and just stating that it is a distraction. You know, and, you know, going to go and see what else is going on in the world, why they are promoting this preoccupied, the media is a big illusion. And so if, if, if I, I'll look at people and, 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 and people, I'll look at like expecting a vibration of, um, of not mess and drama and continuing to keep this, keep it going, you know, like. So there's a lot going on right now with Russia, with a lot of things. This, this, um, they, they didn't um, expose, which we know this already, but about Christ being neuromelanated and just put it all out into the world. And they got, they got people on the water right now making moves, traveling. To, it's, 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 it's America that been infiltrated already with, with different 
man say it's a lot that that's going on right now. That's that's that they don't want you to really be doing and focused on, you know. So who gives a damn about Diddy and what he got? We don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't know him. We don't like we know we know it's already freaky weird stuff going on in the industry. And we are okay, boo hoo, whatever. But they trying to distract y'all, family. You know, and then you got your own tribe that are going to sit on lives and create lives and talk about it more and make it seem deep as if it's something. Man, look. All this, everything that happens in, on this realm has some type of message from source in it. Okay, so I get that, but at the same time, whenever something is a a distraction, a direct distraction, that when we know that they're doing it to create a distraction, that's not the time to go try to figure out the download and that. No, it's time to figure out what are they distracting us from. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, exactly. talk to your family, like, stay away from the drama, the mess, the, like, start to, you know, um, take more, take more pride in your time and what you give your time to and what you take more pride in that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's, it's time to go get away. I guess I'm not going to go down a rabbit hole of many things going on because I don't want to come up like fear monger. But I want y'all to go check out different things that are going on in the world check out the stuff going on in russia check out you know putin check out this different stuff and we know everything they speak in the land is true but at the same time there is things moving and stuff going on you know what i'm saying and so you want to be able to protect your families spiritually and physically i'm a warrior on both sides you know i go to war spiritually for my family and, and, and I damn sure would go to war in this physical realm for my family. You know, and so, especially to the gods, say, man, you know what I'm saying? That ain't it. You know, being 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 um the goddess need us. You know, so that's not a part of the story, the spirituality that they have that they're, they're, they're not, the gods, and the goddess, and I'll say the gods specifically, just directly off of what I've seen, are not embodying true masculine energy. Therefore, the goddess who is rising right now, she's going into a masculine vibration now of her rise because straightforward, because you niggas ain't getting in line with the true masculine, sacred masculine, not toxic masculine. Toxic masculine, overly emotional, rejecting, tripping on her, don't controlling, just, you know, you just, you just, you just, you know, complaining all the damn time, you know, just, just being overly, you know, no, and, and then not protecting her, letting her do go wherever she want to go without your protection, not walking to the store with her, making sure that she's, you know, like, it's just little small things that, 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 uh, like, women desire to be safe. That's what the guys desire. And right now, there's the gods. Niggas, y'all don't care enough to even to even make the gods feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you gotta be equipped. You gotta care about even with myself. I'm holding myself accountable. I'm about to get back to working now and get back to because that is the 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 the, the distortion is that you know another part is that we know the powerful of the, the unity of the god and the goddess, but what positions are they supposed to hold? What frequency do they do they vibrate in? What are they supposed to be mastering? to make this such a power dynamic and we didn't lost that niggas just want to be women now emotional complain argue fight fuss and i said that's what women do i'm saying for me like when you when you mix that feminine energy with toxic masculinity that's what it produces it produces okay it produces like reality tv types type stuff and then they and then they also pushed it already on the divine feminine through the music. You see what I'm saying? So as the God, and that's only working in the music because the goddess don't feel safe. You feel me? This music is empowering her because it's like, you know what? It's feeding her masculine energy, which is what's keeping her safe. We want the women to stop listening to the, the twerking music and the crazy and the, the fight and the well make her feel safe, nigga. Say it like that. Make her. She needs to feel whole. She needs to feel. And so the only way we can do that, family, we gotta face ourselves. We gotta face our trauma. We gotta face our pain. We gotta find balance. 
oneness. We got to find self-control. Because self-control is gangster. But most men, we react. We raised up. We, we, we were taught that we had to prove our, We don't got to prove yourself. The guys don't need you to prove yourself to her. She needs to feel safe. Your homies, you got homies, you got to pull yourself around them, they make your homies. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all all should be around each other and what? And feel safe. That's what we supposed to provide as masculine energy. Safety. That's emotional safety. Spiritual safety. Physical safety. Companion. Companionship. Perfection. Communication. And I ain't talking about, what you want? What's up? Like, we we got to calm down. Y'all niggas so tough. But, but, but are you ready for war? If you ain't ready for war, stop talking, my nigga. And get ready. I'm talking about all war, psychological war, emotional war. Things happen in life. People lose family members, everything. Or you can can you support the woman that you're around in the emotional time like that? Can you be her peace? Niggas focus, we focus on the wrong stuff, God. That's why we lost. Can you, can you as a guy, can you call me nigga crying? Like, man, Brian, we're hurt and we not judge you? That's the distortion. All this is, is family's lame terms. We need to unify. But we got to go in first. We got to go in first. You got to keep my DNA connected to all that trauma of our ancestors. We, our DNA is get, get trauma. We, we got trauma from slavery and all type of abandonment and beating. And the, the women, the women don't trust us. We left them. That's still in their DNA. Nigga, slavery, nigga, we left them. And we, nigga, we, we didn't, nigga, we, you know what I'm saying? We didn't fight. These women, it's, 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 man, it's, man, it's so much time down that these women, that women haven't felt safe. Haven't felt, and then us as men, we haven't felt like we, we could protect them. So, nigga, so now it's got so big, the nigga don't even try. It's just all in our DNA family, but, we, but guess what? Before that time, what? We was warriors. Especially the goddess. The goddess was the realest warriors ever. See what I'm saying? Like, so understand, you protecting. The God that you got your mama, your son, I ain't talking about you in relationship to any guys around you. She's so sacred. So we gotta be on our stuff because at the end of the day, we are the leaders. It's it's kind of like a catch 22 because guess what? She's more powerful in our reality. But you but she needs you to lead. That's what you put a man without vision has nothing. Why are you supposed to be a man with vision? Because the God is feel safe that that security that stability you see what i'm saying so once again i said a lot but you know that's what we're here for and i feel like these messages is I, I i i was here to cut certain things today because we talk about the story of spirituality and we, and we, we we're not just talking about sort of spirituality like spiritual community we're talking about distorted us you know what i'm saying so this is where I want to go before we close. For you, bro, you you know what I'm saying? 22 in this realm. Right, 22, right? You said, right? Yeah, sure, 22. Yep, so 22 in this realm. What message would, do you have for the young God, you know, at, you know, um, that's around your age in this time? You know how to demand the trap music? Just Like, y'all, like, I grew up in my time, but, like, if I had to be active now, it's like, it's all about like this super tough persona and niggas just constantly, it's just rah, 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 and just chaotic. And so, you know, um, you are very mellow. You have a very peaceful vibration about you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and hold a lot of wisdom. But how did you transition and what type of message would you give the young guys that got to live in this reality with all this chaos, you know what I'm saying? First of all, it's it's a process. First of all, giving yourself, holding compassion for yourself, because at the end of the day, it's a it's a journey, and 
one thing I can say is you have to learn to alchemize your pain. You got to learn to find, get down to the root of why things happen. Um, like I said, it's power in the pain. You got to find out power in the pain because everything happens for a reason. And like Sor says, everything is a lesson in experience. It's, it's nothing, if I'm being truthful, it's no such thing as good or bad. Everything is a lesson in experience for your soul to grow. So you knowing this, understand that everything is happening for you, not against you. And it's up to you to decipher what's that trying to show you. And it's okay to feel your emotions. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to open up. It's power and all that, you know. Be compassionate to yourself. Be loving to yourself. And understand that things take time. But like I said, you have to pull out the lessons and the thing that's being and the things that's being presented to you. Because those are not swords being thrown at you. Those are paintbrushes. And it's up to you to realize that, oh man, these certain experiences or maybe these certain things I'm going through is not swords or shots being thrown at me, but it's literally swords giving me a paintbrush to step into my creation, to step into, you know, my different gifts and abilities of what I'm supposed to be doing, of stepping into my purpose, of painting my purpose of why I'm here, you know? And so that's really the message I got for real. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Um, yeah, once again, uh, gratitude to you, God, for taking this time, you know, um, being here for the return, you know what I'm saying, of Shadowbird Sundays and um, this new vibration of map, metaphysical applications of purpose. You know, um, we had to lay the foundation today with distorted spirituality before we go. Because now we are actually about to transition into light work. You know, um, if you're new to the tribe, go tap in. There's, I mean, multiple episodes, multiple seasons of episodes about shadow work, about how to dive deep into your shadow work, about like real deal um, tools and formulas and, you know, rituals and meditations and, you know, um, it's so much there, you know, on many different subjects. So just go on the page, go on the podcast, and you'll be able to see all the episodes um, and, and just tap in. There's so much on relationships, on just so much, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so now, like I said, we are transitioning into um, the light work aspect of the vibration of Shadow Work Sundays. And so next episode, we'll actually have um, the Goddess Short Day on the episode and I want to hit y'all with the title actually real quick uh, let me find it I'm really excited um, about this episode like I said we, we, we diving we diving into um, into this light work which I've been telling the tribe for a minute so this the, the next Sunday's episode is actually called the matrix glitch to unlock source self and so um, we're about to go in. We're about to we're about to tap in on very um, high, you know, metaphysical source downloads. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you have uh, you have anything? Oh yeah, give me your, your, all your social medias, bro. So Instagram is Awaken Today. TikTok is Awaken Today. And do I got any more social media? Oh, YouTube is Awaken Tay. Pretty much all my platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, is Awaken Tay. And y'all definitely go follow the guy. You know what I'm saying? He's um, very active, constantly posting, um, downloads information. Um, that's how I found him and connected with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, been watching the videos for a minute. So y'all definitely go tap in with him, show the guy love, comment, support anything, you know, any new um new things that he got he got a few things coming. So y'all be on the lookout for that as well. Um before we get out of here, let's go ahead and get into 
this commercial or this trailer real quick of the glitch. I don't know if any of y'all seen the glitch, but definitely go tap in with it. But here's a small trailer to um to get you more more um how can I wanna say this? This is a trailer of, of, of a few slight downloads to actually um, inspire your soul to want to go watch the full, um, the full trailer. Yo, what just happened? What's happening to me, bro? All right, source, I get it. Gotta go meditate. We are at war right now. Everybody is programmed, and you are the only one that has the ability to glitch. Some call it the matrix. Let me make this clear. It's not about disconnecting from the matrix. We must understand its power to create programs through portals that create glitches in the matrix. This whole time, you have been seeing but you have been living in doubt. I am here to enlighten you of your power. Y'all go tap in. Definitely go tap in on the glitch. Um, that is only part one. Part two will be coming soon. Um, it is a series. So, um, and I created um, the short film and, and the glitch that I'm working on because I desire to speak to your subconscious. Um, Right here, we're having a conscious conversation, and that's amazing. But I, 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 but I, I truly understand that subconscious is a direct connection to the source, um, and a lot of us are being, well, we are controlled, or you know, a lot of our actions are influenced by our subconscious. So I would love to speak to your subconscious. So be on the lookout for more short films, um, and this series definitely will continue. Um, once again, Shadow Work Sunday song is out right now on all platforms. Y'all go tap in with that. Um, next Sunday, like I said, we have Shard Day. The Goddess coming on, so we're bouncing out the energy. We got the Goddess episode, the Goddess next episode. And um, it's a lot more to come. It's so many, I have so many avenues and so many things, and so many ideas and vibrations that we're going to take the map. It's the map. That's why it's called the map. We're about to travel. You know what I'm saying? So. Gratitude to Source, gratitude to the tribe, um, gratitude to my ancestors, known and not known, gratitude to my art, gratitude to Ra, you know, gratitude to to, um, to, to Hudi, you know, um, and I got something exciting for y'all next week too, because next episode is a day before the Soul Eclipse, and I got a record dropping on the Soul Eclipse, we're going to play that mug next episode as well, um, full of activations, it's a whole nother, you know what I mean, so... <laughs> Gratitude to you, God. You know what I'm saying? This won't be the last time. You know what I'm saying? We see you and y'all. They, they see us together. You feel me? So, yeah. Let's get it. Still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. Hey. Still shadow work. Still shadow work Sunday. I was numb to myself, had to heal for the feeling, yeah I was so blind to the fate, now I'm really worried How you gon' tell me that you love me, you don't really care Nobody hurt, just me and my inner child crying, sir Still shadow Sad story, not a bad story. The glad story, yeah. Big energy.